Elegy for Irene. One. She can't speak, hasn't worn her dentures for months, but her mouth moves in rotation, lips pressed, she begs with her eyes, as if she can negotiate to stay in this hospital bed. Her eyes blue as fire, the fire I see flicker from her stove, where I smell cornbread pancakes, syrup turning hot in the microwave. She grabs my wrist, as if to root in my arm, plant herself there, skin blotched and yellow, her linoleum floor I'd sit on, where all of her great-grandchildren were young enough to climb onto the counter. I'd sit there, ask, Grandma, what is your name? Two. I tell her she is an oak. She rests in her hospital bed, her limbs are limp linen. She reaches for me, grabs my wrist. Ophelia, Irene, I say, why don't you go by Ophelia? It sounds like Blackberry Cobbler, but her name is Irene, she says, fire in her eyes, swelling, hot fudge sundays we'd eat summer nights, grandma watching us climb the tree rooted in her front yard. Three. Ophelia sees ants crawling up the wall. I say I see them too, squint my eyes, squiggle outlines of little red bodies up in the roof. I want to believe I've seen Ophelia running over the guardrail, into the orchard, braiding the branches of my baby sister's hair. I've seen Ophelia flying away from this room, but her eyes keep her planted. They are burning through, ant-ridden walls, burning through. Four, lend me your branch. You are the oak I see along the highway. You are the root I see, blue fire burning up toward the darkest patch of sky. Lend me your hand, your arm, weave through my veins. You are tree, root, mother, matriarch. I will stretch myself, contort my body until I am every branch, bark, and bone. I am the dirt. I am everything you burn through. When I take flight, all life remains in the soil. I will not beg to stay, Grandma, Ophelia, call me Irene.